We've just transferred and signed this huge contract with Manchester United, and now that we're back living in Manchester, we need a place to stay. I asked you guys in the last episode, should we buy this insane $5 million mansion? You guys, uh, most of you said yes. So here it is, guys. This is the house we're going to be living at here in Manchester. Check out this thing. I'm only showing you guys the first floor. All the bedrooms are up on the, the second floor. Maybe we could show that in another episode. But uh, main floor is looking good. Nice kitchen, nice living area. And then the backyard. Check out this view of the city. We got a pool. We got a ton of other stuff, guys. Again, $5 million we paid for this mansion i mean we have so much money right now guys five million yeah it's a lot of money but uh we will be fine we're earning over a hundred thousand dollars per week as well so that's crazy also we got a tennis court back here as well that'd be kind of cool if we could maybe turn this into like a futsal pitch or something like that here in my backyard that'd be cool but that's the house for the time being guys let me know what you guys think of that as we're about to head in to our tr uh, first training session here guys of the episode working on our dribbling doing quite well guys again we just joined manchester united and um guys we have uh, another chance to potentially win the champions league once again and then of course um win the premier league all the other competitions the carbeo cup and then the fa cup as well let's try and win all four of them guys that would be insane of course last season we took on uh, or we played with psg and we won everything can we do that again with united guys let's see what we can do uh i do need to address a lot of people uh, i mean I, I shouldn't say a lot but there were some people upset with my move going to manchester united if you guys were one of those people it, it's just a video game I, I know a lot of you guys don't like manchester united maybe you're manchester city fans or you just don't like manchester united in general guys it, it, it's a video game and doing these series it, it's impossible to make everyone happy as well some people are going to be upset some people are going to like the teams i go to some people may not be fans of the team guys in the end it's a video game none of that should matter also we've never played for manchester united in one of these my player career modes that involve the storylines back in like fifa 16 i know we did a career mode with man united but um that really doesn't count since it wasn't with storylines into this game though guys a chance for us to score straight away right here What a goal that was, boys. We end up scoring that one, taking a 1-0 lead here. We're taking on Crystal Palace. We're definitely a team that is of a higher standard than Crystal Palace. We're expected to win this game. And let's just say we were dominating straight from the beginning of this one. 2-0, guys, and uh, we're only 20 minutes into this game. It's not looking good for Palace. This one could be a blowout. And, guys, our team is just so good of course we have myself at the striker position lukaku is our backup striker he's like 90 rated of course paul pogba at uh, the central midfield position juan mata scoring that one he's a beast as well and then another spanish man guys in our defense sergio ramos is uh currently playing for manchester united in this career mode guys and there's still a week left in the transfer window so some more big moves could be made you guys know in career modes manchester united they like to go out and just sign all the greatest players so who knows guys maybe some more beast will be coming in the transfer window deadline day will be in this episode it's actually going to take place after this game so that's going to be some exciting stuff right there in to the second half we go we're looking at our second goal of the game but we couldn't do so nice save from the goalkeeper and uh, that ball is gonna go out of play crystal palace guys like i said we were dominating them uh we're playing quite well too only taking two shots scored one of them you can see that one goal we did score was an upper 90 strike right here guys paul pogba is gonna be coming in to the game and uh he's gonna look 
to make a difference out here on the pitch, guys. And here we go, straight back into this thing. As soon as Pogba gets subbed on, it's going to be a goal. And at this point, we don't even need any music. Oh, we, we get the point, guys. We dominated this game. A 3-0 victory. And look who scores. I completely forgot. James Rodriguez is on the team as well. Wow, guys, I can't even begin to talk about how stacked this squad is with Manchester United. It's going to be a fun season, even though last season we had players like Neymar and uh, who else? We had David Silva, Quincy Proms. We had some great defenders, great, great midfielders. I think this Manchester United team is a little bit better than that PSG team we played with last season. Overall, the talent we have is just phenomenal. Of course, De Gea in goal. We have Florenzi playing the right back position. Florenzi, of all people, has moved to Manchester United. And um, our team's just stacked, guys. It's crazy. A 3-0 victory against Crystal Palace right here in the Premier League, guys. We're looking to dominate the Premier League this season. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, we can go on maybe win the Golden Boot. And we'll see what other kind of awards, guys, we can win. And um, a little bit later on after this game, I was invited over to my new teammate, Paul Pogba's house, guys. He said he wanted to chat with me. He had a few words. Of course, he's been with Manchester United for a few years. So he's kind of like the captain of this team right now. I'm not sure if he actually has the armband. But he's a veteran of this team, guys. He's definitely a leader that a lot of young players like myself look up to. And without him this season, guys, if we didn't have him, things wouldn't be the same. He called me. He hit me up. He said he had some things to talk about regarding the transfer window, guys. And I wasn't really expecting much until he hit me with some crazy, crazy news. Guys, we'll get to that news in a second. With an hour left in the transfer window, though, let's check out some of the moves being made around the league, guys. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through all the teams here, and you can see all the players brought in and brought out within the Premier League, guys. Some big names on the move. And when we get, when we get to United, guys, check out who has been sold. Paul Pogba and Florenzi are leaving Manchester United, guys. That is the news that Pogba told me when I went over to his house. He said he wanted to leave. And guys, you'll never guess where he's going. He is joining Real Madrid. So I was talking about how great this team was. Don't get me wrong. Our team's still amazing without Paul Pogba. But that was arguably our best player. And he's now gone. He's moved to United, guys. So we'll see if things will remain the same. I don't know, guys. I think it's going to be a lot different without Pogba manning the midfield. Will we perform as well without him? We're about to see, guys, into this next game against West Ham United. If you guys want to catch this series more often, leave a like. Let's go for a 1,000 likes on this one. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading this as much as I would like. As I, uh, I say in a lot of episodes, super busy with school, um, all that stuff, guys. Remember, YouTube is not my full-time job. It's just something I kind of do on the side for fun. I know you guys like the videos. I like making the videos for you guys. And, um, yeah, I make them whatever I can. So, yeah, don't post as much as I would like once summer comes around and I'm out of school expect videos every single day thinking about even live streaming as well would you guys like to see some live streams this summer with some games such as like Fortnite or um, GTA FIFA of course let me know down below in the comments guys I would love to do that for you guys and let's just get into this game right here West Ham United against Manchester United guys another game where we're definitely favored to win but we're gonna see how the team performs in this one without the likes of Paul Pogba we're starting out with a nice looking shot right there but Adrian the keeper for West Ham uh, nice parry from him good save 23rd minute some more chances for myself kind of being a little selfish probably should have passed that one off to my teammate but I tried to score um, a pretty nice goal there from outside the box had that gone in would have been a thing of beauty but it goes wide and uh, yeah Mourinho over there on the sideline he was probably hoping I passed that one off Instead, I went for the shot instead of going for the shot. But uh, unfortunately, that one is missed. West Ham with the opportunity of a lifetime. Somehow, this one goes wide. You got to finish that one. Not sure who that was who took the shot. It might have been Lanzini. It was actually saved by the keeper. So uh, shout out to our keeper right there. But uh, definitely, West Ham, you got to be scoring chances like that. You don't get many chances against Manchester United. 
So when you do, you got to capitalize. And with that being said, that is going to be, guys, for the first half. We've taken two shots, and uh, the score is going to be nil-nil. So against West Ham, we're not exactly dominating like we did in the last game against Crystal Palace. Maybe things will turn around here in the second half. Let's hope so. At least 69th minute, first chance of the half for us. Some nice skill. Wang the ball off to my teammate, guys. one nil could have been offside, but we played that pass off perfectly, and that goal is going to be scored, guys, and look who it is, Juan Mata with his second goal of the episode, the home fans here at Old Trafford going absolutely insane, beautiful goal from Mata, beautiful play from myself, check out the skill leading up to this pass, and then the finish by Mata, guys, just great play all around. This is what I'm loving about United, guys. Uh, maybe out of former teams, players wouldn't be finishing shots like that. But Mata just buries that one. And it's going to be 1-0. And, guys, that's how the game is going to come to an end. To be honest, guys, I don't really like, and I've mentioned this before, that the opposition, whenever you play a team who isn't of the best uh, quality or caliber, they don't get many chances, and when they do get chances, they just don't score. No matter what the difficulty, we're playing on world-class, guys, and I would say that's the best difficulty I would say that you should play on in my player. When you play on Legendary, it's just almost impossible to score, and it's just no fun. It's too possession-based. So, yeah, I don't know. I think EA really need to change something. What do you guys think? Should we um, look into maybe adjusting the sliders where we turn up the um, shot air or turn down the shot air for the CPU and uh, other things like that? Turn down the pass air just so they're more accurate with their shots and passes. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. After this game, guys, we are heading back to a train with the England national team. It's one thing I love about being back here and playing in England is that to train with England, I don't have to fly all the way over from France to England. Now it's just a short car ride away, guys, and we're there training with the national team. Guys, this means in the next episode, more qualifying games for the Euros are coming up, guys. We're back with England in the next episode. 1,000 likes. And we'll have that one to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Catch you then. Peace.